Is your smartphone smart enough to tell if you're sober? A correct answer to that question can keep you out of jail and keep drivers and passengers safe on the roads. Nine on your side traffic reporter Adam Marshall decided to put the personal breathalyzer to the test. And he took the police along with him for a ride. Every day I track accidents around the tri-state. Some of the worst I see have alcohol as a factor. Now these are starting to catch on. Personal breathalyzers that sync to your smartphone. We wanted to know, one, do they work? And two, what do police think about them? We decided to test these two breathalyzers. Both use an app that allow for easy use on your smartphone. The breathometer costs around $50, while the Backtrack mobile breathalyzer with Bluetooth costs around $150. We caught up with John Kennedy of Cincinnati as he made his way to his favorite watering hole downtown. John said he had two beers. This is what happened when he blew in the breathometer. He blew a point zero seven. That's better than I expected. It's better? Yeah. Okay, okay. you said two beers. I didn't now, say how big they were. John also tried the Backtrack mobile breathalyzer, blowing a .089, showing while the results are not exact with both breathalyzers, they are close. We didn't stop there. We caught up with Maud in Covington. She blew a .15 with the breathometer and a .137 with the Backtrack mobile breathalyzer. That's why I called a taxi. I've been drinking all day. You did call a taxi? Yeah, we did, actually. <laughs> Lieutenant Bruce Hoffbauer has 28 years of law enforcement experience and is the commander of the Cincinnati Police Department's traffic section. After seeing both breathalyzers, Hoffbauer has a warning. Well, the police department uses an instrument that's calibrated weekly. It is very accurate. It's accepted by the courts. Now, the instrument or thing you would put on your phone, your app, is not something that's controlled, and so the accuracy is going to be very much in question. While they may not be admissible in court, these small machines are popular. Go ahead and breathe into this hole, like there, a little closer. Even being showcased on the hit primetime show, Shark Tank. Both Maud and John said that they could see an upside to a personal breathalyzer. I mean, I already knew that I wasn't well enough to drive, but I feel like a lot of people maybe wouldn't know. Well, I could see how it could be useful, like maybe somebody will blow into it and decide, oh, I shouldn't drive.